Have you ever wondered how certain people are able to repeatedly come up with amazing ideas every single time? Every work they put out there always seems like it was the next best idea. Song, writing, or video. It seems effortless and we tend to just assume it's because they have a talent for the work that they do. On top of all the hard work that they put in, there's actually a simple hack that even Ed Sheeran himself has talked about and uses in his work. Termed by Julian Shapiro, it's called the Creativity Faucet. No, it's not a hack that involves blankly staring at a piece of paper. No, it also doesn't happen from talking to yourself in the mirror. Yes, one good idea. Come on. No, this is not working. And it definitely doesn't work by trying to meditate in the shower. All jokes aside, it's actually quite simple. Let's take the example of coming up with an idea for your next video or blog post. For your next brainstorming session, write out every single idea that comes to mind, no matter how bad it may seem. Rather than pushing away the bad ideas, let them flow into your thoughts and onto the paper. There comes a point where your brain has emptied all the bad ideas and is ready to deliver a variety of great ideas. We can imagine it like a source of water from a pipeline, where the initial water is wastewater, and you need to let the faucet run for a little before fresh water arrives. The problem with most people is that they don't let the wastewater run long enough for the great ideas to arrive and lead the way. Julian Shapiro says, treat the brain as a pipeline for entering the creative flow state, and never forget that the pipe first needs clearing. The idea is that once you've come up with enough bad ideas, the brain learns and uses that experience to come up with better ones during your brainstorming sessions. When I first learned about it, I was fascinated at how easy it seemed. But then I realized that the reason I kept failing to do this was because I would always finish brainstorming before the wastewater had left the pipelines, and I assume a lot of people do as well. We never write down our bad ideas and we avoid them, or just quit when we were so close to getting rid of the wastewater. Well, now you know, and I recommend you try this method in your next brainstorming session to see if you can also generate some amazing ideas. I've personally used it and it's helped me change my perspective on creative thinking. I now appreciate the process of brainstorming and the struggles that are required of me before I can put out some amazing ideas. Let me know in the comments if this method works out for you. That's all from me. Thank you for spending your valuable minutes with me and I'll see you next time.